guys, it's Shani and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing a makeup tutorial using $2,000 worth of products. So I just had a look in my drawers, my makeup drawers, and I just picked out everything that is super high end, luxurious, expensive, and we're just going to play around with it today. So by all means, you do not need to have expensive makeup to create a nice makeup look or to be good at makeup. That is 100% not true that's not what the point of this video is i just thought it'd be fun to just like play around and see what happens so i hope you guys like this video i got this video idea off tati by the way she did this and i thought it was an amazing idea so credit to you honey boo let's go ahead and jump into the video starting with my eyebrows i'm going in with the mac fluid line brow gel cream in the shade true brunette so i'm just gonna fill my eyebrows in i like to do my brows first now just so i can carve them out with concealer and just get them out of the way I'm just gonna make them nice and bold because I'm going for a bold like full look today the brows are done now it's time to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer I have the shade light neutral this stuff is incredible so I'm just gonna go ahead and carve out the bottom of my eyebrows Oh, hiccups to make them super sharp. So I just take a really small brush and then gently draw a line directly under here. And this is gonna cover any like baby hairs as well. And then I'm just gonna take that same concealer and use this to prime my eyes just to get rid of those veins that we have on there. So I start by just rubbing it in with my finger and then I'm just going to bounce my beauty blender over it. I can't wait till I can get my normal beauty blender. This is the pro and I might prefer just the pink one. Before that dries, I'm just going to go ahead and set that concealer with a powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is so affordable, but I had to use it in this video. It is amazing. Now it's time for the eyeshadow. So I'm taking this Violet Voss Holy Grail eyeshadow palette. It is absolutely stunning. So the first shade that I'm going to take is this one right here called Transition. So this is just a medium brown shade and we're going to work this into the crease to start off the eyeshadow look. So just taking this from side to side just for a light wash of color here. Now going in with this color right here, I'm using this in my crease again. We're going to add some pinky purple in there. This color is so intense, so you want to be really light handed with it. See, look at that, like, whoa. Just taking some more of that transition shade, I'm just going to blend out any edges. Just with a clean blending brush. Now going in with this color right here. This one is going a little bit lower than the pink shade. So we're going to start working this right in the socket right there. So I'm just going to take a small blending brush and start working that in. And then taking that same crease color, I'm just going to pack this all over my lid. I'm like really pale right now. I just turned the exposure up so you guys can really see what's happening. I'm just gonna pack this down with my finger. Actually, I might use a brush. This brush is a Zoeva 234. Amazing for packing on color. Moving on to the face. So I'm gonna take this YSL face moisturizer. This one is $198. I have never owned a moisturizer this expensive in my life. I've been using it for about two weeks a little bit on two weeks and I have been completely obsessed with it the smell alone smells so luxurious my skin is just so hydrated and just feels absolutely beautiful um, but $200 oh, smells expensive now going in with the jelly rosewater balancing mist I use this every morning and night I love it so much it just makes my face feel really refreshed and refined and beautiful Oh. oh, it smells amazing. I can't even. And then to prime the face, I'm taking the Giorgio Armani Armani Primer. So this one is like over $100. Like, it has to be real good to be that expensive. So I will keep you guys updated on what I think of this primer, like at the end of the day, in the description box, if you guys are interested to see how this works. But it smells absolutely beautiful. It has like a nice rose scent to it. 
feel like my face smells so good right now because of like all of these products I'm putting on. <laughs> Too bad we're about to cake it. Now it's time for the foundation. So the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation is the most expensive one I have, $95. <laughs> Oh, this is nearly empty, which I'm really sad about because I'm going to have to spend another $95. I love it so incredibly much. I'm just going to use a darker shade to match my neck. I would say this foundation is like a medium to full coverage if you build it up. It has a really nice um, finish. It's like a nice glowy natural finish, but still covers everything you want to cover. The color match is a little bit off to my fake tan, but when we finish the rest of the makeup, it all comes together really nicely. I just find it so satisfying matching my face and my neck because the color difference is like real. Now going in with the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. This stuff is so incredibly thick. I'm going to shake it up because it separates sometimes. I'm just going to do one eye at a time just in case it dries up. Because I do have purple eyeshadow on, I'm making sure to go really full coverage under the eye just because I don't want it to look like I have a black eye. I'm just going to clean up this line right here as well with my concealer. I don't want the line to be too sharp, but I still want it to be nice and clean. It's funny because like all these products are like sitting in my drawer and I never reach for them, but they're actually pretty dang good. And then going in with my MAC Prep and Prime in the shade Light Boost. This is just a highlighting tin. So I'm just going to put this on the high points of my face to make it look really highlighted because I love... That intense life, intense highlighter, intense contour, you know. And again, just using my beauty blender to blend this all in. Oh my god, it just adds so much dimension to the face. It's like everything. Now time to set that concealer down in place. So I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I've gone through two of these and they are pretty expensive. Um, the Air Spun Powder is like a drugstore alternative. It is really good as well, but I just prefer this one. So I'm just going to put a little bit in the back of the lid and we're going to bake. But before you before you do that, you want to make sure that there's no creases under the eyes. Otherwise, the creases are going to set and stay there after you bake. And go in with the bakeage. I put so much of this on. To set the rest... Oh, girl, I nearly dropped it. To set the rest of the face, I'm going to take the NARS Translucent Powder in Crystal. It looks like this. To be honest, I really don't like this product. Like, if you swatch it, there's, like, nothing. I'm just going to lightly pat this on my skin. I feel like I have to use a lot, otherwise it's literally just not going to do anything at all. I just want to make sure my foundation isn't sticky. That's all we really need here. Now I'm going to take the Natasha Denona Glow. This is for all over the face and the body. So it just looks like a highlighter, but since it says for all over the face, I guess I'm just going to go in. I just want a nice glow on my forehead, so I'm just going to dust that over. I definitely can see a nice like glow. It's adding a little bit of a white cast. I'm also just going to add this on my cheeks right here. Oh my god, that actually is really pretty. Let's go ahead and finish off the eyes. So I'm going to take that same crease color, that dark purple color, and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line from the outer corner to the middle of the eye. So I'm going to make this quite intense, and I'm going to connect the darker color with this purple up here. And then going back in with this pinky purple shade, I'm going to put this directly under that purple just there to blend it out a little bit. I'm also just going to blend this area right here with a blending brush because I don't want a sharp line. I've never done this before so I'm kind of scared it's just going to go everywhere and look like a mess. So I'm just taking a very light hand. Oh my god, it actually looks pretty good. Now taking this beautiful Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette, I'm going to pick up this shade right here, and this is going to go from the inner corner to the middle of the lower lash line for a pop. I love the full kind of colors, so that's what I'm inspired by today. So I'm just going to take this little brush right here, and I'm just going to spray some Fix Plus on this brush to make it very intense. This would definitely have to be the most expensive eyeshadow I've ever heard of, but 
the quality of these shadows are like on another level. They are just so pigmented, creamy, buttery. Oh, the colors are just so stunning and unique. Like I just don't have one bad thing to say at all. And then for the brow bone, I'm gonna take this shimmery shade right here. And I'm just gonna lightly pack this directly under my brow. Since most of the eyeshadow was matte, I just thought I would put a touch of shimmer up here. For mascara, I'm taking the MAC False Lash Maximizer. So I'm pretty sure this is kind of like a primer to the lashes. It makes them extra long when you put mascara on top. So it is just like a white substance. Let's just go ahead and coat the lashes. It definitely is making them a lot thicker. Never used it before, this is interesting. I haven't used this mascara in so long. It is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I used to love it so much. This one has like a really fat wand. It makes the lashes like humongous. So I'm just gonna go ahead and coat my lashes with this. I'm surprised it's not like off. You know what, it probably is off. I'm pretty sure you have to like replace mascaras every six months. Whoops, I've had this for a year. Now lining my upper lash line with the Kat Von D liner. Just very lightly. Now going in with lashes, I'm going to take these ones right here. I want a really long pair since we have a lot of dark going on on the eyes. By the way, I really love that Kat Von D liner. The felt on it is like really thin, so it's like so easy to apply. We are finally nearly finished the eye area. So last but not least, I'm going to take the Benefit Gimme Brow to set my brows down in place. So I'm going to brush the front ones forward to make it look a bit more full. And the rest of them just straight down. Now for contouring, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I hardly ever use this, so I'm kind of excited to... So I'm just going to pick up these shades right here. I do remember this palette being very pigmented, so making sure to tap that off. I'm just putting this right under my cheekbone to define it. I naturally have pretty hollow cheekbones. I'm not going in for more because I can't always go overboard, so I'm just going to blend upwards. Now for the bronzer, I'm taking the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Bronzer. On this little fluffy brush, I'm just going to lightly start bronzing up the face. This stuff is, again, so pigmented. You gotta be real careful with this. I don't reach for this one all the time. It is really pretty, but I don't know. I feel like there's better ones out there that aren't as expensive as this. And of course, I'm gonna bronze around my hairline. I love a bronzy look, as you guys probably know by now. I never miss this step. And then for blush, I'm going in with the Hourglass Mood Exposure Lightning Blush. This one is really pretty. It has like a nice sheen to the cheeks as well. So it acts as like a little bit of a highlighter. Oh my God, I'm probably gonna like break this, but this is intense. Now time for highlighter. I am excited about this one. So I'm just gonna take my Anastasia A23 brush. This is the best highlighting brush in the entire world. And I'm just gonna spray some MAC Fix Plus on the brush so the highlighter we put on over the top is like real intense. The highlighter that I'm using is the Becca in the shade Moonstone. This is what it looks like. Absolutely stunning. I hardly ever use this, so let's put it to the test, shall we? Oh yeah. So pretty. I'm also gonna put this on the tip of my nose. Just blend that in. Cupid's bow. Now I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24 hour lip liner in the shade Gash. Oh, I love these lip liners. They're so creamy and easy to use. Just obsessed. I have like every shade as well. Yes. Now I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Glastonbury. I haven't used a shade, but it looks so pretty in the bullet. It's like a really deep, dark, berry brown. So let's go ahead and apply this. Oh my God, that's so buttery. You definitely have to put a lot of coats on for it to be like really opaque. I wouldn't say that this is the nicest formula of lipstick just because it is a tiny bit patchy 
and you'd want any dark lipstick to be like super opaque um, but I would prefer like MAC or something like that because those ones are like extremely pigmented and now I'm going in with the MAC lip gloss to add a really nice shine to the lips this stuff is so glossy oh and lastly, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray in Cooling and Hydrating. I'm going to douse my face in this. Mm, it feels so nice. I'm going to go in with another color on my lips to show you guys what it looks like because I think this other color will look really pretty. Let me show you. So this one's from Charlotte Tilbury as well. And it is called a very Victoria. So I'm going to put this on and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. So here we have the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And also let me know down below what lip color you like better. I definitely like this one more. I feel like it's just a lot more wearable and it's not as grungy. So yeah, as I said at the start of the video, you don't have to have expensive or luxurious makeup to be good at makeup or to have pretty makeup. So yeah, it was just like a little experiment. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video.